guys and welcome to a little tutorial with me Pug Gaming and today we're going to do some very advanced procedural objects work. So have a look at this building. My plan was to take the bottom section of this building and use it as a almost like a fascia. And what I mean by that is first of all we're going to drop down the top half of the building. We're going to try and just take these three right hand side windows and just keep that one panel with nothing else around it. Sounds impossible? Not with procedural objects it's not. So the first job as I say is to drop down the main building and look here we are. There are a lot of nodes here, a lot of vertices to try and collect. And this is why I wanted to show you the video because it doesn't happen easy. There are a few times that I go through this particular setting and I don't quite grab the right nodes or I'm pulling the wrong one up and it deforms the shape as you can see what it's doing here. So I wanted to show you how it how it all comes together eventually. It's not as easy as just clicking a few nodes, but also I don't want that to um, be a deterrent that you then give up and don't actually try and achieve what you wanted to in the first place because things are possible, especially with this amazing mod. So my first tip to you guys would be, for example, if we're gonna take a square, make sure the camera angle is facing at the front side. And what I mean by that is the boxes that you see with the um, pluses on we need to try and get the top two levels of this square so the front two and back two to be pretty much on top of each other because then when we highlight with the mouse across the dual select we're clicking the right nodes and we're bringing down the right area obviously if you click the nodes plus a few others you're then going to distort the, the actual region you're trying to work with so the best way to do it is make sure you do it in small sections don't try and take too much when you're working with a lot of nodes like you can see here, a lot of them, especially these bottom half as you can see on the camera, all of these are the main building on top that we've now put under. So you could actually page down this till they disappear into the face of the pit of the earth. Not sure where that goes in terms of city skylines. But if you do that then they're all out of the way. So just try and make your work surface as clean as possible when you're working with such sort of high level um, nodes. Now another thing I do is I copy and paste when I get to a good stage because there's no edit undo in procedural objects at the moment. Um, so at least now what I can do is I can mess around with this corner because I wasn't too sure how easy this would be to get rid of this last section. So I wanted to have a backup plan. So copy and pasting um, one of these allows me to then go back and react, um, well, change over the way I pursued the first time and try and work out the best way around it. But fortunately, in this scenario, I did manage to do it first time and didn't have to resort back to the previous model. Now my third tip would be to select less of these node boxes than more. And what I mean by that is you don't know until you start moving what each one of these ones does. If you select a whole bunch of them, you're more than likely gonna cause yourself a bit of an issue. And if you haven't got a backup um, procedure objects model already there, that you copy and pasted, you're gonna have a bit of fun trying to put it back to how it was. So I would certainly just click on one or two nodes like I'm doing here, and you can see by just clicking on the cursor one direction, you can see that, okay, this is the right one I need to be working with. And it just allows you to work out which boxes are the right ones for you to make what you want to make. So that's pretty much it for what I was trying to achieve here. All I'm gonna do now is a bit of tidying up. So jumping in and out of the procedure objects mod allows you to see a bit clearer what you need to do because when there's so many nodes like there are in this particular section, it's hard to see the actual building itself that you've got remaining. So with that in mind guys, I hope this video has been of some interest to you and I hope it will allow you to try procedure objects to the next level and really excel in terms of building unique builds. And of course, if you did enjoy the video and find it useful, please hit that like button and even better, so you don't miss out on future videos, please hit that subscribe button. Other than that guys, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to uprate our workshop creators of mods and assets as well because they do this work for free. They deserve some recognition. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. All the best.